<laughs> I like your interpretation of the, <laughs> the, the kunai. Okay, yeah, go for it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Jack the Boss, where you can call me Ashinobi, and welcome back to something that is not Naruto. You can unsubscribe <laughs> at any time. What's up, guys? We are back with a brand new video. We are with something brand new and someone brand new. You guys can uh, you can uh, finish it. I'm gonna go grab something to drink. We're doing an Attack on Titan recap <laughs> of episodes one through sixteen. We've seen them already because I had already started it, and then like a ton of you requested that I do this series, so I brought along Willie, who's pretty new to anime. This is what? This is your second anime? This is my third. So I watched. Uh, I watched One Piece four times. I've watched Bleach twice. We're gonna just get basically started with like the very, the very concept of Attack on Titan. What do you think so far, just in general? Pretty pug, pug, pug you. All right, what do you think of Aaron, the, the main character? A oh, Aaron. I don't like the way they spell his name. Same with Erwin, like the, the, the commander. I feel yeah. like Erwin could have like a way cooler name. Like, yeah. Like, like Armstrong. Blake. Armstrong? <laughs> Blake? <laughs> Wait, yeah. wait. So when you think powerful like leader, you're just like, you're just like Blake. Or like, yeah, dude, Blake is cool. <laughs> like, imagine naming your son Commander Blake. Blake. You no, know, if you call your son Blake, you know that he's like he's gonna grow up to be like he's gonna yeah crazy. yeah he's yeah gonna be sick. All right, yeah. what about Mikasa and Armin? Aaron's two Aaron's two amigos. Um, Armin is a is a little. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, but I feel like he's gonna grow on me. He's, yeah. he's gonna grow on me. We, I even said we were. Sa I said this when we were recording. I feel like he's gonna like grow to be really strong, but then I feel like he's gonna have some dramatic death or something because I don't think he's gonna be strong. They, I, I think he's gonna be weak, and that's why we like, care about him. And then they're just strong. gonna like like yeah, he's yeah, like yeah 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 yeah. But like I, I can't think, imagine him being buff. I don't think they could get rid of Mikasa because she has like that balance with with Aaron. Willie thinks that Mikasa and Aaron are gonna have a relationship. I've argued that it's like a brother sister thing. I said bratty sis should hit them up. To kind of transition into that transition. transition. <laughs> Aaron being a Titan kind of threw me for a loop because I felt like that happened really early on. Like I I if that had happened, I I expected it to kind of happen more later in the series because that's a pretty big deal, but it, it's like a big plot point. I think they paced it pretty well. Do you? I mean, the sh I think the show honestly, I think it was pretty slow paced at the start. Like I was like, I thought everything was cool. I thought like the ODM or whatever and like the scouts and everything, it was a cool concept. Yeah. But like when they showed him as a Titan, I was like, yeah. That's, that's a good time though. I didn't think it's too fast. It is, it's a pretty quickly paced show. Like, I mean, episode one, it starts out with like the whole like raid on the city, but then it drags that out a little bit. We see like the Colossal Titan. What was like the charging one? I think it was. Armored, like the, the armored Titan. The, like the running back type that was just yeah. sprinting. So we know there's like yeah. a certain special Titans. What was your theory in relation to Eren's dad? Because that's like a big plot point is right now where we are in the series, they're taking the key. They're trying to get back to Eren's house in the, the very far city and get to the basement okay because i have here. a theory too but i wanted to hear yours first listen to me here all right okay. i'm ready for some like big brain like interconnecting like oh my thoughts. like you don't understand i've been on admin table this whole game i know everything <laughs> <laughs> such a stupid <laughs> reference uh okay so listen you know how they showed those flashbacks of aaron's dad he was like stay down i'm gonna hit you with like this sedation thing yeah that's yeah. not sedation oh that that's the oh, titan serum oh yo i didn't even and think, I think about that i think in the basement basement they're gonna have like More you know how it. like yeah yo listen that's listen good... listen 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 i can tie this in listen to real world okay okay you know how dudes take steroids and uh -huh. then they can't get hard no you lost me so hard why do you think titans don't have genitals <laughs> So you think that's interconnected to the to the juice? Let's call it the juice, okay? In retrospect, is the loose. juice. My theory was kind of connected to that. I didn't go as in depth on like the the like whatever the juice is that was put into Aaron. I think that's pretty good though. That that's that makes a lot of sense, honestly. We've seen some shots of like the government, you know, like these like really high up, higher ups. We've only seen it a little bit, especially in the courtroom. Whenever the guy decided Aaron's fate, and he eventually went with the scouts. I, and the chess guy. Yes, I feel like the government is involved in terms of like creating the titans like in that sort of way like they they use them they manipulate them they create like the colossal and that's their way of kind of keeping an iron grip on like society like never letting anyone like get anywhere near where they are in life you know what i'm saying that's it's a pretty it's a really remember all like the little hints that they're like yeah because even though okay remember when they were trying to take back what was it trost Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. place. I think Remember so. the commander was like, this is a good move because either way, if humans die, we have less people to feed. 
So true, that, true. You might be onto something too. Yeah, so I think both could be like playing it. Maybe the government uses this and they've been like, kind of, they like recruit people, make them into Titans. And then those Titans are the ones that go in and do the dirty work for the government. I think that's Ooh. a pretty solid theory. I think it could really, really hold up. I guess we'll see whenever we watch through the Wait, rest. Wait, that's also it. true because remember when he was on the the uh the uh, uh not the bridge what is it the wall yeah he was talking to them they said that they they said that someone made titans they did say that. yeah they did because they because he was talking about how like the races were like before when humanity was like yeah asians and, and races and you know white black whatever yeah then they were like titans were put in because they wanted to form an enemy for people to fight against mm -hmm. instead of themselves instead of themselves so they they create game. they create their own little like like they create a simulation battle between the humans and the titans so that no one ever comes anywhere near the government or the higher-ups in society and i think that's why it's been showing these shots of them like here and there little bits of teases of how different life is for them in comparison to the people that are fighting on the front lines the people that are living against the titans i also think that theory is supported because whenever they were they had sonny and bean those two titans Titans, and they were trying to figure out stuff about them. Those two were killed mysteriously by someone. They have no idea who. There's a big probability. But they do. That's what I'm saying. Because Erwin whispered to whispered to freaking Aaron. He's like, who do you think the real enemy is? The real enemy isn't actually the Titans, but it's who's controlling the Titans. Dude, Jack, I'm not gonna lie. When I came on this show, I thought we were just gonna be reading fan fiction. <laughs> I, I, I thought we were gonna be creating fan fiction. I. I did not expect the big brainness that's going on. I feel like if we're right, everybody's gonna be like, oh, you guys have seen the Dude, show. Like, you you the just show. explained <laughs> every single little intricate detail. Like, if we're actually right, I'm sorry, but my brain is just expanded in like multitudes. It's just, yep. it is what it is. Five head. So yeah, that's, that, I think the Sonny and Bean thing kind of supports that too, because they could have like sent in someone because maybe something could have been found out by dissecting these Titans and they could have found out like these were government officials in some sort of way is there anything else you want to add before we start the series code so today we're having this video to kind of give our thoughts on the series so far before we start the series on i believe tuesday for patreon thursday thursday for youtube anyways guys that's it for this i just wanted to give our thoughts introduce you to william you can find his channel link down below he does call of duty content all the no, time i do anime he he does anime now. He's been consumed. Yeah. We will see you for the Attack on Titan series. We're playing on three episodes a week. We may up the pace, may slow down the pace. Depends how it goes. We will see you there. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, are you excited, Willie? If you don't put my clip of me reacting to the girl deep throating the bread, I am unsubscribing. I want it in the video. Oh, she is deep throating that bread.